getting all glammed up. Hey guys, it's Lucy Sabby123 here, and I'm doing a review on Chloe or Glammed Up. So, let's start with her clothes. Um, I like her t-shirt because, like, it's got that kind of reptile, pink reptile print with the silver um, glitter stripes and then the white t-shirt underneath. I will mention this, the the pink t-shirt is removable from the white and I'll show that to you later in, on in the video. Move down to her shorts. I like her belt because like most of their belt designs from MGA Bratz have just the plain slab of plastic where this has like nine little gem things with the on top of the sparklies so I really like that and then it joins into the tights as well um this is kind of a kind of a feels like silk kind of material it wouldn't be silk but like kind of a fake silk type of stuff and then I like how it's got the um tights attached on down the bottom um go down to her shoes I like how the shoes kind of match the pants because that's like a really good touch and then they've got all the dimensions like the belt and the tights so that's really good um she's got those common um shoes like they came out like this year i think i'm not sure um so i really like it um and but i'm really disappointed how on the um um pose of her on the front and back of the box she's wearing those really common old shoes so like that's a little disappointing because like they're all wearing the shoes in the background picture, so it would be nice to see all the different shoes. Um, so, um, I'll get on to what she comes with. She comes with the curler. I think this is an Australian doll because in Australia we get the flat um, uh, curlers. But on the Sasha or Glammed Up video, if you saw, it has like little bumps. So this is probably why our curlers don't work. Um, she comes with a crimper, um, doesn't always work, but sometimes does. Some wave maker thing, um, same as the crimper, doesn't always work. A strange kind of hairdo thing, it's like kind of a cross, so like really weird. And um, she also comes with two flower clips, so that's really cool. Um, I know in our Sasha Glammed Up video, Kat Zuma May said that um, the flowers are the same as Chloe or Glammed Up's. They're not. Um, Sasha or Glammed Up has roses, but Chloe or Glammed Up has kind of a daisy type um, of flower. And then she also comes with her hair glitter, which is really cool, which you can use for yourself. I use it for my nails. Um, so then you've got her picture that comes off the front of the box. It's really detailed. I like how she has the hairbrush with her. And I like how they all have the kind of sparkle in their eye. That's really a nice touch. Um, except her hair's a bit different to what it actually is. Speaking of which, we'll go on to the hair. Like I said, this hairdo is kind of common with all the all glammed up dolls because Jade's the only one with a different kind of hairdo. She's got kind of a lump like just over here. Where um, Sasha, Jade and... No, sorry. Sasha, Yasmin and Chloe all just have this weird bump thing. Sasha has a bit of hair coming out of here, but Yasmin and Chloe just have this with their hair coming down. So that's um, the basic doll. Um, I'll be right back and I will show you the um, doll with her jumper thing off. So I'll just sit that there. So it is a little hard to put back on after you've taken the cardigan off, but um, that's what she looks like. She's just like kind of a dull. It doesn't really look good without the pink thing, but if you just want a normal white t-shirt for something, it is good because it's um, it's just a white t-shirt. I like how they've had like a little stitch up there, so they've kind of gone in and then out and then stitched along the top. It's a really good feature. So, um, this was Lucy Sabby123 doing a Bratz or Glammed Up review on Chloe. So, um, stay tuned. We will be finishing off the Masquerade dolls, the Stylist dolls, and, um, we will get back to you on Jade or Glammed Up. So, this is Lucy Sabby123 saying goodbye.